I think he on. Yes, he is. I caught him on dough bait. <laughs> Homemade dough bait. Not sure exactly what it is. It almost feel like it could possibly be a cart. The way he going way over there. Whoa, whoa, come on. Oh, it's an actual channel cat that bit the dough bait. <laughs> yep, he wanted the dough bait and he got it. Let's get him up here. Whoa, yep, he did some damage to that dough bait. <laughs> there we go. That's what I'm talking about. I used the treble hook too for the dough bait that I made and it got him so good that there's gonna be a lot to get this hook out. So there you have it, got top <laughs> and bottom of his mouth. Wow, stay tuned. Okay, I managed to get the hook out of his mouth. He a nice little plumped one. Um, he looks like he about two pounds. He went for it and he got it. Homemade dope bait. I'm gonna show y'all the dope bait here in just a minute. And there he goes, stay tuned. Okay, y'all, here we have the homemade dope bait right here. What I got is a treble hook right here. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I like to do dope bait. Cause dope bait, you know, most of the time when people use dope bait, they complain about it coming off the hook when they hit the water. Well, don't worry about it being very, very sticky. Cause that's actually a good sign. Um, as long as it's not breaking up. So what I do is I take it and I take some more and I just wrap it around the hook good like that. Then what I do is I take my hand very gently so I won't poke myself with the hook just like this into like a football type shape. Oh, it's very sticky right now. And what that football shape does, Matter of fact, what I can do, I have a little flower down here. I always keep a little extra excess flower so that when I'm doing this, I can actually roll it a little bit better. See, there we go. So what you want to, you want to put it in a football shape because what it does, it, it holds on to the hook a lot better. You see, almost as if this is a dough ball. See, I don't like to throw the bait, dough bait high in the air because it hit the water hard. I like to just give it a line dry. But yep, there you have it right there. He's still on. Ready, set, and... Hook!